NASA's Culinary challenged students from all across the country to develop a recipe for flight, that is, create a meal that astronauts would enjoy in space, and given the dietary restrictions, that was no easy task. It was a huge learning experience for all these classes, including for one right here in Huntsville from the Huntsville Center T for Technology that made it all the way to the top ten. But could their tasty treat win it all? We're excited to be in the NASA Culinary Hunch Challenge. We're excited to go to Houston. I think it's going to be a good experience going to the Johnson Space Center Food Lab. Um, I just can't wait. Good to see their kitchen, good to see everything that they do. So it is like amazing to see what they have in there versus what we have. So I'm really happy to go up there because I've never been there, so I'm really happy to go and see what they have. In our dish is a, um, quick, a quick brown rice Mexican paella. It was an Indian dish before, but we had to um, put our own, our, change it to make it our own. We tried many different um, entrees before that. Like We tried ratatouille, we tried multiple ones, and they didn't really turn out. Food processors, it's like hard, but you have to like, Pay attention to all the details. With a meal going to anywhere else, you don't really have to look for the salt or anything like that. You just have to make sure it tastes really, really good. But you go into space, you have to make sure the salt is right. You have to make sure it looks good when it gets dehydrated. You have to just look at a lot of stuff. You have to use less sodium because um, taste buds are off in space. So we um, have to use more spicy foods because they can taste that. All of my teammates, we are really close and we get along very well, so it wasn't hard for us to bond when we was doing during this experience. Um, we talk a lot when we're cooking and, I don't know, we just having fun together as a team. My team is crazy. Uh, it's been fun. It's been a lot of back and forth, but it's been fun. Being with them every day, cooking with them and everything, it's so fun and you know, learning different people and how they cook and everything and all that. Astronauts are going to love it. It's going to be amazing. So here at the Huntsville Center for Technology, I'm with their instructor, Karen Rodriguez. And tell us, did the astronauts like it? They sure did. They uh, enjoyed it. So how did you get into this competition? Um, the NASA representative for uh, Hunch, Bob Zeke, um, dropped by when he was here to see our other instructors and said, here, would you like to do this? And uh, we had some interest and we said, sure, why not? You had the opportunity too to go to Johnson Space Center to the food lab where they create all of this. And tell us about the competition, what went on there? Uh, we arrived at the competition and um, it was really exciting walking in and then setting up and getting ready. Um, looking at the other teams and what they did, and then hearing um, people talk about uh, the, the Johnson Food Lab. That was very interesting. So you had astronauts judge it, is that right? Is that there were um, some astronauts and then some employees from the Johnson uh, Food Lab and a few other people. I think there was about 12 judges. So would you do it all over again? Oh, of course. I can't wait till next year. You had a great group of girls, and how did you decide what you were going to make? They did a lot of experimenting. I made them pick three recipes, and we tested the recipes, and uh, we looked at the um, guidelines as far as fiber, fat, sugar content, those kind of things, and we narrowed it down to one. It was an Indian dish, and they ended up changing it to a Mexican dish that was a little more colorful. Oh, and you said it was spicy and healthy. Healthy, yes. Yeah, high fiber and uh, spicy. You guys came in third place, but you're still going to get something in, in, your, in a cookbook, right? Yes, the recipe will go in a um, NASA cookbook. All right, so all the astronauts and, and all of us can enjoy it here on Earth. We can see tasty and healthy, and they'll look forward to next year. But third place, congratulations. Oh, Joel. yes. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, congratulations to them again and to the winning team from Passaic County Technical Institute from New Jersey where they're winning red pepper risotto. Now, their entree will be processed for flight for the astronauts to try on the International Space Station. And a close second was another team from right here in Alabama, Trustville High School. Can't wait for that cookbook to come out.